We're going to change directions now. It is a very busy night in Cleveland. Progressive Field now open to full capacity. And Playhouse Square is back, the curtain rising again after almost 15 months. Marissa Science is out and about tonight and paints a picture of a city alive again. Tonight, downtown, it's not just sights and sounds looming, it's excitement. The heart of the city coming alive again. We've been building up for this moment. Baseball games are back and at a grand slam size. Progressive Field is at full capacity for the first time since the pandemic restrictions were put in place. We're open for mid 20,000 tonight, uh, mid 20s tomorrow. Prepping for a packed stadium has been top of mind. You know, it's really been moved, a lot of moving parts, and it's been challenging, you know, getting uh, seasonal workers and everybody in the service industries. We are standing right here. The stadium is right there. We are not more than a two minute walk away from the front doors. Businesses around the block taking in dozens more too. Yay! It's only 515. The game's at seven. If this is where we are now, this place is going to fill up. Seats at Progressive Field aren't the only seats that are filling fast. We're so excited to see the curtain rise. For the first time in over a year, Playhouse Square illuminating for shows. It's so good to smell back Playhouse Square and be back and see everything. We're looking forward to getting back into the kind of the groove of, of being down here all the time again. Putting smiles on people's faces, making life not just feel new again, but normal too. It's just a feeling of like seeing Cleveland come back to life. Now, the Thirsty Parrot told me that much of their staff stuck it out with them throughout the pandemic and that they'll be able to handle the big crowd. But Progressive Field is still hiring and looking for employees to work throughout the summer. I'll tell you that the ballpark is not a bad office to have. For more information on how you can apply, just go to our website, WKYC.com, and click on this story. Russ. Where's the signs with that chandelier behind her? Looks great. It's beautiful. It yeah. is. Thank you.